How to Replace a Fluorescent Ballast by Electrical101.com This video will show how to replace a T12 magnetic ballast with a T8 electronic ballast. A magnetic ballast uses red and blue wires for individual connections and yellow wires for common connections. An electronic ballast uses blue wires for individual connections and red wires for common. Here is a wiring diagram of a T8 electronic ballast that has replaced a T12 magnetic ballast. The wire colors are different along with the number of wires to each lamp. Here are the tools you'll need. Wire stripper, screwdriver, socket, or nut driver to remove and replace the ballast, blue wire nuts to connect ballast wires to the lamp holder wires, yellow or tan wire nuts for power connections for the home, or a disconnect for commercial use. Make sure power is off, then remove the old lamps. Gently rotate the lamps one quarter turn in either direction. The old T12 lamp is on top and the new T8 below it. Remove the ballast cover to access the magnetic ballast. Disconnect the hot and neutral wires from the old ballast. You can keep the old wire nuts, but we prefer to use new ones. Disconnect the yellow common wires. Since the wires are probably twisted together, cut the ends of the wires to separate them. Disconnect the red and blue individual wires. Since they are probably twisted together, cut them below the twist. Separate the wires, then straighten them out. If there are no existing wire nuts, cut the wires close to the ballast. Using a screwdriver, nut driver, or socket, remove the old magnetic ballast. Install the new electronic ballast with the black and white wires facing the wires on the fixture that connect to the line voltage. Here is a view of each of the two red and blue individual wires that connect to the lamp holders. Here is a view of the two yellow common wires. The two red wires connect the lamp holders together. The common wires trim the excess length of the ballast wires as needed, but not the lamp holder wires. Strip the ends of the yellow lamp holder wires and the end of the red ballast wire about 3 8 to 1 half inch in length. Connect the three wires together with a wire nut. A blue wire nut is used in this example. Carefully twist the wires around each other to form a bundle so they do not protrude from the cover. Next I'll do the individual wires. Trim the blue ballast wires as needed, but not the lamp holder wires. Strip the ends of the red and blue lamp holder wires, and then the blue ballast wires. Connect the two red lamp holder wires to one of the blue ballast wires using a wire nut. Connect the two blue lamp holder wires to the other blue ballast wire. Carefully twist the wires around each other to form a bundle so they stay inside the cover.
Strip the line voltage wires. You may want to trim the ballast power wires as needed, then strip them. Electrical code requires the use of a disconnect in most commercial applications in order to safely change a ballast with the power on. Connect the line side of the disconnect to the line voltage wires. Connect the load end of the disconnect to the ballast power wires. If this is in the home, you can skip this step and use wire nuts to connect the line voltage hot wire to the black ballast hot wire. Then do the same for the neutral wires. With the wires carefully bundled, install the ballast cover. Make sure all of the wires are inside the cover. Install the new T8 lamps into the lamp holders. Gently rotate one quarter turn in either direction until the mark on the lamp aligns with the slot on the lamp holder. Thanks for watching the video. For more information, visit electrical101.com.